Okay, so this video is to look at how to resolve font flicker. And first of all, I'll show you what I mean by font flicker. If I refresh this page, you can see that in the menu area, the menu uh, links start with one font and then change quickly to the uh, font that's been assigned in the CSS. Um, so how do we fix that? So I'll show you the code, here it is. Um, so what this is doing is it's saying in the desktop navigation and also in the title description inner area, which is the bit that holds uh, this text here. So basically the visible text that's going to take on that font as the page loads. Run an animation called fade me in over 1.5 seconds. And if I look to here, the, the keyframes of the animation, so an animation can have multiple stages, otherwise it wouldn't be an animation. The, the way you define that is you have at keyframes, this is, this is the, an animation sequence. The sequence is called fade me in, which is the same name as we called in here. And what we do in fade me in is 0% of the way through the animation, you want the opacity to be 0. 80% of the way through the animation we want the opacity still to be zero so basically we're keeping the opacity at zero for 80 percent of the length of the animation and then in the last 20 percent of the animation so from 80 percent up to 100 percent the opacity will rise to one so that effectively means that over 1.5 seconds this happens so zero to 80 percent of 1.5 uh, 1 seconds is what is it 1.2 seconds i think uh, so for 1.2 seconds the opacity stays at zero and then for uh, the last 0.3 of a second, the opacity will rise to 1. So I'll show you it happening. Okay, so here we go. Let's have a look at it happening. So we don't see the flicker anymore. So basically the reason for that is that the flicker is happening while the opacity of the text is 0. So while the text can't be seen, the flicker takes place, and then it basically gets nicely faded in once that change has taken place. So one thing you need to do with this is you need to play around with this value, the 1.5 second. 1.5 seemed to be uh, the length that when I was testing this on a number of different browsers, um, I didn't see the flicker. If I went lower than 1.5, I started to see the flicker coming in. 